Did they check your guys' Vax cards when you guys came in? Vax up! They're doing that everywhere now, it's nice, I like it. I went into a place and I accidentally I showed them my library card. And he was like, this is a library card, this is not a proof of vaccination. And I was like, yeah, but it is. <laughs> I do love being an American, though. Being American, that's incredible. You don't have to, you don't have to receive America as an impact on your life. That's fucking incredible. We never take the time to appreciate that. Like, we never take the time to realize, like, we never have to host wars. <laughs> they're always our idea, but they're always an away game. How the fuck did we do that? That's incredible. Shitty friend, we're like, oh, dude, I'm having a party, and they're like, cool, your place, and we're like, nah, fucking yours. I'm, I'm coming over. It's too rapid of a shift, you know. It's hard for me to get used to. We went really polar opposites. Like, I'm 24, and I remember a different America. That's how recently no one cared about this. I remember as a kid, like, I started shaving when I was in fourth grade. When I would go get my hair cut, I would have them thin it out with shears so it wouldn't be curly. If my parents packed me lunch with hummus in it, I would throw it all away, because I would rather go hungry than be persecuted. I hated, like, who I was. You know that feeling? I, I have vivid memories of kids looking me in my eyes and saying, don't think we'll ever forget what you did to our country. And now, things are different. I was at the grocery store, and I saw pumpkin spice flavored hummus. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> they forgot. Because we'll never get universal background checks. We're just, we're too stubborn of a country. So we gotta find other ways to make sure people that shouldn't have guns don't get guns. And it's easy. People think it's hard. They're like, how are you gonna know? Who shouldn't have a gun? It's like, we fucking know. You know what I mean? Like, we all know who shouldn't have a gun. You wanna know who shouldn't have a gun? Go to one high school gym class and just watch. Just watch them all run the mile. You'll fucking know. <laughs> Maybe there's a kid doing the anime run. Like, let's. Let's check his backpack that he never takes off, you know? Let's start there. <laughs> Maybe the kid that walks on the balls of his feet only. Maybe he's second in line. I flew in from New York yesterday. I was gonna bring weed. I had to fucking throw it out because I forgot all your dumb rules. Everything's fucking illegal here. <laughs> I fucking have three copies of To Kill a Mockingbird shoved up my ass right now. It's fucking... <laughs> At the airport, they were like, what is, is that a book? I was like, no, no, it's a gun. They're like, oh, good, okay, come on in. Fucking, sure. Totally cool. I like the way things are headed. I do. I like the issues we have and the problems we have. It's good. You see the opposition against it. All, it's always conservatives being like, oh, fuck it. You think fucking other countries are arguing about gender and pronouns? It's like, of course not. No. Because it sucks over there. <laughs> We're doing good, you know? Like, a country is only as good as its problems are silly. That's, it's the strength of us. It's you ever see, you ever see, like, the world news next to, like, our news? It's crazy. It's just fucking footage of, like, the war in Ukraine. And then we're just like, in our top story tonight, is the purple M&M trying to fuck your wife? And it's just like, what? What are we talking about? That's good! We're fucking running victory laps around the world right now. Other countries are like, water! And we're like, do my friends see me how I see me? Like, that's good to have that. I like that we're doing all the gender stuff and redefining things, that's good. I saw this thing, it was this documentary, it was this conservative journalist, and he was going around to all these like pro-trans, like doctors and therapists, and he was trying to get a new definition for what a woman is. And he'd go to one and he'd be like, what is a woman? And they'd be like, a woman is anyone who feels like a woman. And he's like, I'm gonna fucking lose my mind. And then he'd go to another one. 
And he'd be like, what is a woman? And they were like, a woman can have a penis now. <laughs> and he's like, fuck you. And he's just, they're just making each other so angry. And at one point, he says this thing that's so funny where he just goes, he goes, if the boy that lives across the street from me can wake up one morning and say, I'm a woman, then what is a woman? And the whole time I was watching this, I was getting so frustrated because I was like, guys, isn't the answer obvious? A woman is anyone that a man is mean to. <laughs> that, is, that is the most broad definition I can give you. I don't care what you're born with, what you got going on. If you wake up one morning and you go, I'm a woman, and somewhere a man a little louder goes, you're not a woman, you fucking dumb bitch, then now you are. He just <laughs> validated your experience. I read this thing the other day that uh, there's, there's 80% more gay people now than there was in like 19... I don't know. I skimmed the article. Uh, <laughs> you don't really have to read anything anymore. I don't know if you guys knew that. You can kind of just skim and take whatever you want. But 80% more. That's a big boost in business. That's fucking... That's Amazon numbers. That's a good stock, you know? But it's interesting because it becomes like a political talking point. You know, like people use it to get their agenda across. They're like, this fucking country's going to shit. They're fucking putting it in the water. <laughs> it's like, clearly that's not what's happening. Clearly, there's the same amount of gay people now as there ever was. It's just that for the first time in our country's history, people feel comfortable to come out and be who they want to be. That's an amazing thing to have gay people in your country. Yeah. Like, like, like that's actual freedom. You know what I mean? Like, like, freedom isn't like owning a gun. Freedom is blowing a dude. That's fucking free. To blow a guy and then tell your grandma about it at dinner? That's insane. That's way cooler than that shit, okay? It's a strength of a country to have gay people in it. It always has been. It's also, it's what our enemies hate the most about us. It's true. It's why I could never understand the issue people had with allowing gay and transgender people in the military. Because it's like, who better to fight ISIS than the LGBTQ community? Do you know what that would do to their morale? Like, if a transgender woman killed Osama bin Laden, they would never recover from that. That's who you should send. Don't send the young, straight America bro to fight the Taliban. They have the same political views. Like, I... <laughs> I want to see fucking Caitlyn Jenner with a Glock to a dude's head sideways. Do you know how powerful that would be? If the last words the enemy heard were, it's they, them, motherfucker. <laughs> like, that's... That's how you win the war, okay?